Hey everybody, welcome to another video. I'm Mike B, and today I'm gonna to be doing a clarification video. So I've gotten a lot of people that have been commenting, especially from Albania, which you guys should know better, um, and the US. Um, it's, it's a lot of people that don't know what they're talking about and they, they try to make it sound like they do, but they're absolutely incorrect. And um, this is kind of a standalone video, but it's related to military surplus, firearm collecting, that whole series. But doing your research, be willing to do your research and don't talk about something that you don't actually know about. And don't just assume somebody's wrong because they said something either. Um, but I'm assuming these people are wrong because they are. Now the subject of this is about Albanian used weapons that were sent as aid from China in the late 1960s through the 1970s. So I've made a lot of videos of my one of my prized possessions. I love, I love personalized rifles, uh, military surplus rifles. And if you haven't seen this one, this dude, Leonard Rakipi from uh, Vlore or Vlor uh, in Albania, decided that he wanted to personalize his stock when he was either in the military or whatever, and wrote his name on there. So that's pretty cool. It's very used. Now, I've had a lot of people, again, from Albania, you guys should definitely know this, saying, well, that's uh, that was made in Albania, or that's not an Albanian SKS. And it's like, well, yeah, both statements are kind of like, okay, the first one's incorrect. The second one is also kind of correct, but technically we'll, we'll get into that anyway. So yes, these were sent as aid. They sent a ton of Chinese type 53s and type 56 rifles as aid to Albania because it was a communist nation and it was developing and it was kind of struggling. China had been supporting a bunch of countries economically and militarily since the 1950s because they kind of, um, kind of adopted, they kind of parted ways with the Soviet communist ideology and they started having issues with the Soviets and their ideologies and stuff. So they wanted everybody that was on their side and their version of communism to be more armed and, you know, stronger. So that's basically the, the long or the, the shortened version of an extremely long lesson that I don't want to get into in this video. So in 1960, the Soviet Union completely cut aid to China and Albania and a bunch of other countries um, due to that ideological difference. So China said, OK, we have to step up and we have to do this. So it was kind of like an infighting within the communist kind of ideology. Weird, that never happens. Um, anyway, so Albania was more of a Chinese-aligned communist ideology nation. So what do you do when you've got a huge nation that's got a bunch of guns and they already got more modern weapons, but they have huge stockpiles of these? You send them to a country that needs them. So in 1968, um, they started sending, that's the first year that I've really seen like in large numbers, they started sending these because the Soviet Union invaded Czechoslovakia, blah, 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 blah. Again, this is just a brief thing. So they started really arming nations that were closer to Europe and all that stuff and like in Africa with Chinese made weapons. So to kind of just make this video not last a half hour, that, that's why you see that this right here is not made in Albania. It's not made in Vlor, the, the city. That's just carved in there. It's a personalization. Soldiers do that from all different countries. So that's definitely a Chinese... Uh, man, uh, Arsenal Mark, and this was made in 1966, if you haven't seen my other videos. So no, it's not Albania made. Albania did make their own SKS eventually, but it had a, a different handle. It was actually, um, or was it the Romanian one? I don't know. I actually don't know, so I'm not going to talk about it. But yes, Albania did make that, but it's not going to have Chinese Arsenal markings. Same with this. This isn't Soviet. This is not Albanian made. See that? It's got Chinese markings on it, right? And although these are import marked from China, because that's the country of origin, they were actually used by Albania. You could tell that because they're not refurbished. Albania did not refurbish these weapons. The Soviets and um, the Chinese often did as well. But these are in rough shape because they were carried a lot and they were used for many years, um, up until actually quite recently, which is surprising. And that's how you can tell they're from Albania. Also, the importer said they imported them from Albania, so that's a, that's a pretty good uh, indicator of where they're from. So, long story short, these are Chinese manufactured weapons. It doesn't mean they're crap, because that's back when China actually made decent weapons. Um, both of these are really good shooters and they're really reliable, very accurate. But they were used by Albania. So technically when I say this is an, an, um, an Albanian SKS, I'm half correct, but I guess I'll be more specific now when talking about it. It is a Chinese Type 56 sent to Albania as aid in the 1960s or 70s, somewhere in there. This is a Chinese Type 53. I haven't actually made a lot of videos on this recently. I should, I should get into this whole topic of weapons that were sent as aid. But anyway, so I just wanted to clear this up. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions still, which I, I don't know how it's possible, um, let me know. I'm not an expert. I'm just to do this. I've been collecting for about 20 years. But this is one topic that I got into when these became uh, were imported a few years ago. And I was like, oh, Albania, cool. 
So, and then these, re this recent batch that's been, you know, last year and this year being sold, it's from Albania as well. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer. I already said that. And if you consider supporting my work, if you like this and this actually helped you out, understand it a little bit better, consider supporting me on Patreon. It's a dollar a month, five bucks a month or more. It gets into the Discord server, which is pretty fun. A lot of cool information is exchanged there and all that stuff. If you can't monetarily support the channel, um, like to a kind of support for like helmets and ballistic tests and guns and ammo and stuff, um, if you can't monetarily do that, I totally get that and that's totally fine. But I just do appreciate you watching. That's, that's, you're, that's good enough for me. So again, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you on the next video.